Poosden train station and we're waiting for a train. It's going to take us to Portsmouth. And what's happening in Portsmouth? We're getting on the ferry and going to France. Hi, we want a boat. I'm with front. It's great. So excited. Look, it's moving. I'm so excited. What time is it now? I don't know. Late. What time? Hi, it's 4.30 in the morning. Just trying to get everyone up. And this isn't the start, apparently. We got given a map to get us to the start, which was the radar station. And um, then we got another map, which had several points of interest and make our way to the campsite. Which is That's where we've got to get to. Eight, and we go 11, 12, 13. We get to 20, we go via 19 and then and then we'll up by 20, 30, 39, 31. That's 30. I think it's to your left, guys. So, Luke, what was the clue we were looking for? Uh, it was uh, what shape is the stone carved, uh, is a stone cut into. Uh, I think it's a maple leaf. Do you agree, Archie? Yeah, because it looks very similar to that. How many unnamed? We only found one, which was, I was quite surprised because it says, said graves instead of just grave. There's a, there's a food um, We're going to get some ice cream. I'm, some cool. I'm very scared. Right, so, uh, Bonjour, uh, je vous trai un glace, s'il vous plaît. On va aller ou on va and we've been seeing the crests on the above the names there and we've noticed that some of them have the scout symbol Me, here we come. We have arrived. So we've, today we've done sixty three kilometers. Kilometers. It's half six now and you've arrived at the campsite. Yeah, I was a bit of a shock when you said how far we'd done. <laughs> I think I told somebody's mum who did 30k a day. <laughs> Oops. So at the end of the first day we were all really tired and so we went to bed about um, 8, 8.30 French time, about 7 or 7.30 in the UK. Yeah, pretty relaxed in the morning. Uh, Luke made friends with Iris, the camp dog. And then we set off on a, uh, a far shorter bike ride than yesterday. Sorry, 
Philip, wrong way. Film me walking, JJ will never let me live it down. We were uh, riding to uh, see the massive gun battery uh, on the cliffs above the town of Aramanche. Uh, and then we cycled down to there and had ice cream and things before. Say hello, JJ. Hello. Hi. Hi. Going this way. From the battery to the beach, it was all downhill. That was really nice. I also like going down that really big hill. That was like 10%. That was fun. I like getting the ice cream and then going down to the beach. Uh, it was really cool. It had lots of uh, World War II things in it that were really interesting. <laughs> And today we're just about to leave. We're uh, all packed up and what we have to do is we have to just ride our bikes straight back to the uh, ferry terminal. <laughs> so John, what have you found different to France? I like the um, wide open spaces and the tranquility and birds tweeting everywhere. It feels like uh, the countryside when I was a kid. It's like really spaced out. The villages, they're like not next to each other there's like two kilometers away from each other and um you can just see for a long way really there's a lot more fields there's really really big fields like everywhere the roads are a lot nicer and they're called different names like d something which is different uh, what I find amazing is just how well, brilliant it is for cycling. It's just miles upon miles of these really quiet roads, amazing scenery, there's fields like you don't see in England. Uh, and even on the rare occasions where we pass cars, the, uh, the French drivers were great. They just are really considerate, really lovely. Uh, it's just been wonderful. And even the people we met in the shops, they were cool. When uh, They always helped the guys where they were using their French, <laughs> door to their pan of chocolat and everything else. Uh, it was fantastic. I want to come back here again. Cool. So we've come to the Pegasus Museum, which is the site where the D-Day landings began. This is the um, bridge that the soldiers um, liberated first of all. So this is a glider that happened in D-Day and then the soldiers took over the bridges and liberated the nearby villages. So this is a Bailey bridge that they used to um, cross the canals and rivers. reached the end and we're putting the bikes on the carrier to go home. So this is the end of our trip to France and we're coming back home.